Hi, this is Kirsten from Talk It To. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Philips SpeechMic Premium Dictation Microphone. First, let's go to talkatoo.com, navigate to resources, and select the knowledge base page. From here, choose FAQ, and you'll find the article on how to set up your Philips SpeechMic. Scrolling down the page, now would be also a good time to make sure that your Philips speech mic is plugged into the USB port of your computer. What we need on this page is the link to the Philips speech control software, so I'll open that in a new tab. Scrolling down to software and drivers, the second link is for Windows and the third for Mac. So I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to go ahead and click here to download my download file is going to appear in the bottom left or the top right hand corner of my computer. So we'll just click on that when it's done to open it up. If you happen to lose the download file, just go to your yellow file folder, downloads, and it's right there. Opening the file, we want to go to the Philips Device Control Center setup and run. We'll allow this to make changes to our computer. It's just a little pop up that you'll receive there. We want to go with the typical setup and install. Then I'm going to select to launch the Philips Device Control Center. And there it is. Now, you will need to make sure that your Philips microphone is plugged in, especially at this stage, in order to see the correct tabs here. So what we're looking for is the yellow tab, Application Control. And this is where we can go in and program our keys. The first one we're going to do, of course, is the record button, and that is going to control start and stop dictation. So to do that, click on the three dots here. We're going to go add, hotkey, next. The key code identifier for this is S, and we need to check off both alt and control. Finish, give it a name. And okay. Now. You also want to hit apply to save each of these steps. The next one that we'll do is the forward button and that is going to be enter. So add hotkey. This time key code identifier is just hit the enter key on your keyboard. Finish. I can name it. Okay. Apply. Play pause, we typically set that one up as the tab key. Now again, all of these are by your preference, but to do tab, we just hit the tab on the keyboard as the identifier and finish. We can name it. So tab will allow you to move from one text field to the next. And OK, apply. And then the last one we normally do is backspace on the rewind button. Add hotkey. Hit the backspace key on your keyboard, finish, and we can name it. Apply one more time. You also have a couple other buttons available to you on the Philips microphone. You've got um, EOL and insert, as well as F1, 2, 3, and 4. And scrolling down, you can see you can assign additional functionality to these keys as well um, by doing a combination of key press plus a button on the microphone. Within your practice management software, you may have key commands available to you that equate to an action. If you do, it'd be a really fantastic idea to add those onto your Philips microphone to make you more efficient and get all the benefits out of it. So this is how you would do that. Just select the key that you want to program and you have a couple of options. You can do a hotkey like we've been doing. So if you have like, you know, shift F2 or whatever it may be, you can very easily add that as a hotkey. You can also do text template. So if there is a short paragraph or phrase that you know you would be dictating on a regular basis, just go ahead and add that as text to one of your keys. You can name it. And OK. Now, the last thing to check is if you have a couple of target application defaults set here for Notepad or PowerPoint, just go ahead and select those and remove each one. So we're now going to open up Notepad to test out the buttons that we've programmed 
and we'll just want to remove those defaults because they would prevent us from using the ones that we've just set up. So let's do that now. We'll go into Notepad. All right, so picking up your microphone now, click the record button once to start dictation and once again to stop. Enter, of course, is our new line. Play pause is tab, so that'll allow you to indent or move from one text field to the next. We've got rewind as our backspace key, and then the text template that we inserted, just like that. 